Draw a series circuit using the components below, showing how to measure both the potential difference across the bulb and the current flowing in the circuit. So here are our components. We have a battery, we have a bulb, a voltmeter and an ammeter. We can use straight lines as connecting wires. The important thing to understand is that voltmeters are always connected in parallel with a component across a component and ammeters are always connected in series with a circuit. So let's see what that actually means. So to start off with we have our battery. Little dotted lines means that we've got more than one cell and there's our battery. Then we're going to take our wire around. Now we need to put the ammeter in series so let's put it here. Now we could put it anywhere in the circuit because the current is the same all the way around the series circuit. And then we can have our bulb here. So it, we could put our ammeter over here. It, it really wouldn't matter. The current is always the same. Now conventional current is flowing from the big positive side of the battery all the way around to the negative side of the battery and as it flows through the ammeter that will measure the current that's flowing. Now how about the potential difference across the bulb? How do we measure that? Well the voltmeter must be connected in parallel with a component. So we connect it across the component like so. And you can think of the voltmeter as it's testing the energy that the charge has as it flows past this point before it goes in the component and it's testing the energy that the charge has as it comes out of the bulb and it's comparing the difference. It's comparing the energy drop that the charge has and that's why we call it the potential difference potential difference because it's the voltage drop voltage drop or voltage difference and voltage is how much energy the charge carries so voltmeters have to be um, connected in parallel with the component